Now friends, uh, let's calculate the day of 1st April 2013. 2000 is a century, so 0 odd days. After that, 12 completed years. So, 3 leap years, 9 ordinary years. 1 leap year is having 2 uh, odd days. As 1 leap year, 366 days, that means 52 weeks plus 2 days. That means per leap year, 2 odd days are there. So, for 3 leap years, 6 odd days will be there. Then, uh, 9 ordinary years, 1 ordinary year, that means 52 weeks plus 1 day, that means 1 odd day, 1 ordinary year. So, 9 ordinary years or non-leap years will be having 9 odd days or we can say 9 divided by 7, the remainder is 2, so that means 2 odd days, right? So, 6 plus 2, 8, that means 1 odd day, finally. Now, we have to reach till April, 1st April 2013, January, 31st days are there, after 28, 3 odd days. February 28 days, 0 odd day, March 31, so 3 odd day and 1st of April. So 3 and 3, 6 and 1, 7, so it's 0 over here. So we are left with just 1 odd day, that means it is a Monday. Okay, so the problem can be done in just 30 to 40 seconds if we are conceptually clear about the concept of odd days. Okay. Now here I am writing down a question for you, just have to solve it. Uh, it's uh, maybe 21st May 2045, right? So, uh, you just have to do the sum on your own and then match your answer and solution with mine. So, after 2000, 0 days, 44 completed years, 11 leap years, 33 ordinary years, Per leap year, uh, 2 odd days, so 22, that means 1 odd day finally. 33 ordinary days, that means if we divide it by 7, the remainder will be minus 2. So 1 minus 2, finally minus 1 odd day. Okay, then we have to reach till 21st of May 2045. So January 3, February 0, March 3, April 2 and in May 21. So 21 divided by 7 is 0, so it's 0. So 3 and 3, 6, 7 and 8. 8 that means 1 and this 1 and this minus 1, 0. That means 21st May 2045 is a Sunday. And I am sure your answer is matching with mine.